Do not worry. Well, howdy, folks, and welcome to a brand new episode of Do Not Worry. I'm your host, Anthony. We're back after a month. A vacation with new equipment. How's it going? Uh, the crew is joining me. We got Nul and Elijah. How are you guys doing? We're going good. Tfadale. Hala kir hana ke fo baad hal episode, but we're doing good. Yeah. The guy. I'm good. Everyone's got to get used to having their own mic now, so uh, you don't have to like share a microphone anymore. My dreams are coming true. Hello. But you're gonna be interrupting each other the whole time, so yep. we apologize. And also, if the audio sounds a little weird, we're still figuring this out. Okay, it's our first time using this. Enzo, one of our Amazing patrons helped me figure out this equipment, so thank you, Enzo. Thank you, Enzo. Uh, he hooked it up, so thank you, my guy. But before we get into anything, folks, uh, we have a word from uh, Jihan uh, from uh, Talk to Gigi. She has a special message for all of us uh, talking about taking time off and the importance of time off. Hello, Saba, tout le monde va bien. Un tourne. Gigi, Wainik, Wain and Motivation, Wain Videos, Layam to Prale Alaina with stories. Thank you, guys, for all the DMs that you have I was just taking a break. And in this break, I discovered a new podcast called Anthony, Elijah, and Noor. It's called Do Not Worry. If you can see on Instagram or on our YouTube channel, it's very important. Instantly, I opened them a conversation and I knew that they are also on a break and they are coming on the 1st of November. So I thought that it's very important for one to take a break. To reflect, we have to think about this product that we're going to give, even if we don't get to the end, we're going to be able to do it. If we feel that we don't have anything to think about it or talk about it, we're going to take a break, we're going to think about new things, we're going to have time and time to create new ideas and so on. Dear, so, do not worry. If you want to take a break, we're going to take a break. Do not worry. إذا قررتوا تاخذوا شي مرة بريك، انتبهوا لحالكم، انتبهوا لبعضكم، والأهم حبوا حالكم مثل ما أنتوا، أنتوا كثير حلوين. تشاو. No way. No way. Okay, I love her. Standing ovation. شو مهضومة؟ Stand up. ما بروح ناسها. Yep. There she's, is n- she's adorable. She's amazing. I can't imagine a better way for us to start this new... I don't know if this is a new season, technically. I guess this is season three. Let's just call it what it is. I can't imagine a better way to come back from a long vacation and be being welcomed back then with a message from Talk to Gigi. Thank you, Gigi, for this special message. It means a lot to all of us. And, ooh, there we go. Belashna. So I really can't imagine a better way of coming back than being welcomed by Gigi. So thank you so much yep. for that awesome message. Uh, also, I did great advice. Smart Lama. It is very good. Yeah, we. I, I gave Lama that advice. I was the first one to give him that advice. Well, yo, time to take a break. I took the advice that I gave him. He didn't even take. You know what I mean? He he got a mm-hmm. t- TV show instead of taking a break. He did the opposite of what I said. Uh, so thank you, Gigi. But before we get into the show, folks, let's just take a second to thank our amazing patrons who. Who, for the most part, stuck with us for for this whole month off. Thank you guys, Anjet, for the patience and for understanding and allowing us to, to take a break. Hello, we did drop a couple of videos. We dropped the Elio Ilay video. We dropped uh, our John the Kidman John video. So it wasn't a complete. We didn't completely abandon you guys. Can be uh, there was we did s- provide you with some vi- content, um, but we got some brand new uh, people who joined, like Ramifa was, uh, Celine H, Vincent Abbas, Karim Ayad. These are all brand new. Uh, blonde patrons, and we got our very own Elijah, folks. <laughs> Elijah became a, uh, an abductee patron. Uh, Ramzi Kawas and Hadi Hamoud as well. And let me let me scroll down. We got a brand new superhero patron, Adrian N. So thank you. And some two new God tier patrons, folks. Andrew G. and Jack Sleeman. Jack Sleeman from, from Virgin Radio. If you guys know Jack Sleeman. Huh? Jack Sleeman, yeah. The oh, Jack okay. Sleeman is on the radio, baby. <laughs> It, it, Sleeman is way sexier than Sleeman yeah. on the radio. You know what I'm saying? So thank you guys so much thank for becoming guys. patrons, for helping us, for helping us get... We couldn't have gotten these new mic- microphones without you guys. So thank you guys. And if you would like to join our Patreon, uh, please do so because uh, I just... These, these mics weren't cheap, folks. Every, with the mixer and everything, the mics are surprisingly not that expensive. There's way more expensive mics that you could get. I shopped smart, folks. But seriously, <laughs> our patrons, you know, you guys make sure that the interns are paid. You make sure that the uh, the crew, sorry, the crew, you're not the interns anymore. You make sure that the crew's ah. paid. You make sure that we can still make vlogs and special videos. And, you know, we recently changed the camera and right now all the audio equipment. So thank you guys. Uh, check out Patreon and see if you can help us out there. That would be awesome. Uh, 
We got a lot of topics to talk about and we got a lot of shit to, to, to catch up on. Hey, we missed a lot. We missed a lot. You know what I mean? Uh, Shad has been going crazy over the last month. <laughs> yep. Uh, Joseph Merab has been spotted at the Aon protest, <laughs> not protest, like Tajemmo, uh, you know, saying goodbye to President Michel Aon. Uh, Daddy Foodie is married. Daddy Foodie has a, had a royal wedding. I mean, Daddy Dr. Foodie, Dr. Dr. Food. Food. I read Daddy Foodie at Dana, sorry. Dr. Food has had a wedding. He's, yeah. ma- he's married now. The Lebanese royal wedding is as close, I think, as we'll ever get to a royal wedding is Dr. Food's wedding, unfortunately for us. Protein cup drama. Everybody's losing their shit over protein cups. Uh, that's pretty crazy. Uh, there's a whole bunch of shit that went down. Uh, so we, we have a lot to talk about. So Oh, and the, obviously the infamous Ryan Hayek interview with Gibran Basile. Uh, where we just casually asked him about like just crazy things. Anyways, we have a lot to talk about. Uh, again, thank you to Sidewalks.net, our gracious sponsor for over the last month. Uh, we'll talk about them in a little bit, a little bit later. Uh, so let's get let's get rolling. I'm, I'm a little rusty, guys. I'm taking a month off. Uh, you kind of forget how to do this. Malik, you're doing great. I think we should. Yeah, thank you, thank you. I need <laughs> I need I needed to hear that. So we just came back from a long break. It's been a month. A month is a very long time like to, to disappear. Uh, how'd you, what'd you guys do? Have a good time? Was it a good month? Like, speaking of a long break, I'm just like, it's like, it's a new start. Like, I'm not sure if it's a new The mics make the a big difference. Yes, I'm not sure if it's a little rejuvenated. Well, I'm, I'm glad. I feel rejuvenated. I miss the podcast. There's a few things about it that I didn't necessarily miss. But, you know, for the most part, I was like, man, I kind of want to talk about Dr. Food's wedding <laughs> for some reason. Uh, but no, it was nice. It was long for me, man. Like, I spent a lot of time with my family. It was amazing to see my parents. I missed them so much. But I, mean, I was living with them for, you know, for almost the whole month. I spent five days in New York. It was a pretty fun time with my college friends. But I wanted to say, while I was in the States, I switched. I made the switch to, and, to, to, to iPhone again. I went back to Apple, folks. And I just want to say a special thank you to one of our patrons, Muhammad Haytham, who literally bought this phone for me, like, without even me paying him. He paid for this phone, then I paid him back because he works at Apple. And he's been like, dude, I can get you discounts. He's been sending me DMs for months. Like, I can get you discounts. And I'm like, I never really was planning on getting anything. But as soon as I decided to buy an iPhone, I was like, it's time for that fucking discount, baby. <laughs> so he literally bought it for me, then I paid him back. So thank you for the trust, Muhammad. I almost, I almost decided not to pay him back. But, and he's a patron, too, so uh, we thank double you. love him. Thank you. Uh, now, on to... Our first order of business, folks. There was a new doppelganger of me that was spotted. It was sent to me from someone on Instagram. That they've chosen to remain anonymous. But as you know, I love finding lookalikes. And this is <laughs> the latest version. Heather, it's like a hybrid Bainak and George Chabez. Yes, that is true, actually. I think this guy's like either Indian or like maybe from Pakistan. I don't know. He looks a little bit darker. But like with that beard and the glasses and the hat, mm-hmm. definitely I, I see it. Yep. I see it. It was kind of a... It was striking so in the beginning. Odd. It was kind of weird. Thank you, thank you. I, I do think so myself. I would agree. A uh, little fun fact. I was waiting at the ATM uh, yesterday just to put a little bit of money in so I can pay for my Spotify. That's literally the only reason <laughs> I stand uh, in the ATM right now, in line to put money in my bank account. But I mean, they, like, bank out is taking like $5 from me every month in bank fees. What the fuck? It ain't worth it. I think it's maybe six. My body but no, it's... Uh, but I got, I got a special message from someone called Robin Shalhoub. At first, I didn't really recognize who it was. It said, good morning. Then I remembered, like, I'm like, Robin Shalhoub. Then I looked at his profile photo, and there was a huge RC. I'm like, oh, my God. It's Robin oh RC. God. It is RC Perfume, our boy. I was like, holy shit. Like, why is he texting me? Is he mad? Like, did he see one of our old episodes? Does he think I said something mean? Then he goes on to say... I'm like, I say, Kifak Robin. He's like, I'm good, Habibi. What about you? I'm like, big fan. He replies, he says, Inta Elbe. I'm like, I'm guessing from our boy Elio Eli. Maybe, and, just and, maybe. And Elio's last name is Shalhoub. So is he related to Elio? Oh my God. I okay. never made the connection before. So he might be, I'm going to have to ask my boys and find out. So he might be related to Elio Shalhoub. So he's like, Akhat Ra'amak. Dude, you have no idea how happy that made me just reading mm-hmm. that. Standing in line at the ATM, I'm like, holy shit, this is a, a great turn of events. He's like, one of the nice, bravo. Then he sends a gif of himself <laughs> smashing something on WhatsApp. So that was honestly amazing. So in case you're wondering who RC Robin is, here's a quick refresher of him making one of his, uh, you know, unique perfume scents. يلا ميكس جديد جا جا شو هي مرة بعدين ما حلي ميكس جديد جميعا شباب هيك شو معي سيلفر سانت 
And you've never seen anybody make perfume like that, let me tell you right now. Plus, it's chaotic. Okay, when are you ready? Come on. Boom, baby. <laughs> Boom. Like I said, this was kind of, this is a little bit older, so he looked um, different now. Our boy's got a makeover. He's yeah, got like the, it's more the, the slicked back hair. He's got the big glasses, the chain. Yeah. <laughs> Not a bouquet, but yeah, it's definitely cash. Like showing off the hammer. He's, he's got a cool ass hammer. Unisex, يعني للرجال ولا النسوان ولا الصبايا ولا الشباب. I'm gonna get a custom uh, cologne, I think. You know, it's only fair that I make a custom cologne for myself. Scent the Royal Mangerla. Mix old, away, but the next one is vanilla. The next one is away. It sounds like a very intense and musky cologne. Look at that precision. Finesse, look at that. في واحد بعطوا لي قال شو ما في شيء اسمه مسبة مش عم بحكي عن اللغة عم بحكي هو شو عم بيحكي خليك بابا عم بدي أزاد زيتون أنت واللي مطلق got some ما في شيء اسمه مسبة هيك آه maybe he's talking about the emoji face guy the me emoji guy he's talking about the me emoji guy I wonder why Hakeg and last time I don't remember yeah. us being nice to him. Yeah, but you know, we, I guess in the middle, of my, you know, I guess we were nice in a respectful way. He, he must have liked the video that we did for Elio, maybe he wants mm. something like that. You know I guess, yeah. Anna, he grew on me. I mean, I, li I like all these people. It's just funny. I mean, just the fact that he messaged us out of the blue, I think, you know, that, that was pretty that. awesome. Made my weight in line at the ATM a lot more bearable. There you have that. Uh, Shada, let's move. We missed our, our Shada. We, uh, you guys have probably missed him. It's been a month, you know. We've not talked about him, but his TikTok is popping. His followers But he's trying all these different things. He's doing the the food reviews. Fiktid, let's let's catch up on some Shada. If you guys don't want to see any Shada, you can skip to the next part of the other podcast. But you want to see Shada? Yeah, we all we're here to see Shada. Yeah. We miss the guy so. Uh, Honey, this was the first thing he says, Daddy, in this video. I'm not sure how context, but I'm Shada. You want to hear Shada saying, Daddy? I don't know why people are afraid of me and think I'm a man. And this thing is not true. I'm a short man. I'm not a long man like I'm saying in this way. What do they say in the comments? Ha 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 ha. What do they say? It's long. If someone doesn't have a long man, you can talk to him. What do they say? No one doesn't have a long man. No one doesn't have a long man. No one doesn't have a long man. I want to be this long man so you can talk to him. There are many people who are more than me. I mean, this is something that gives me a long man. I want to talk to him and talk to him. Then you are the young man. What do you want to be? I want to be a young man in the Metro 80. I want to be able to see him like this. يا دادي شوفي ليه بدك اياه يكون هالقد طويل ما فيك ترضي بحدا بطولك او اطول بشوي؟ لا شادا ما في ما في اول شيء متر و80 از فيري افريج هايد ايم 180 ومنا هالطول يعني فيرست اوف اول شادا از بن توكينج اباوت ذس فور لايك 3 ييرز وقت ما اكتشفنا له شادا از توكينج اباوت هيز هايت ومنا قصير وانا طولي 170 و whatever لايك هاز فيديوز عم بي هيز ليترلي ميجرينج هيم سيلف تشيك ذا فيديو افتر ذس ون ريد افتر؟ يب سو there's a fucking motor sound in the back. If you guys hear something, there's like a weird generator in the back. Mal the Lebanese ambience. The bitlatkon ambience. Ah, proves that. Yeah, there we go. He has many of these. 
مشان نحسم هالموضوع بقى جينا على الصيدلية مش كرمال This is recent بس yep. كرمال It was right after the last الاتهامات اللي عم تجيني بالكذب الاتهامات ونفرج الناس بعينا طولة قديش This is not the first time he does this by the way 170 171 It's remember what happened here? he's announcing Ah, that's right, that's right. Yeah, yeah. هون I think بسط when سمع إيلو. He's building hype. وشو حيعمل إشي. سمع إيلو is making twelve thousand dollars a month. He's like, time to get some of that action. رجعت أيام اللايف كل يوم ساعة عشرة والسنة دي رح تنزل قد ما بتكون وأحكام سلخ كل شخص من فوت معه رح نحكمه وهيدا دفتر الأحكام جاهزين أحكام وعطوني أكتر من عندكم ملاقط على الوجه تاكلة بصلة بودرة ديودران ألسان لزق بطاطا عجبين وقول أنا خصم بطاطا بايدة على الراس تسكت جولة كاملة حكم الغابة وغيرهم كتير فوتوا على اللايف يعني بدو يتبهدل سين يفهمتوا شو عم بيقول يعني this is all the shit he's gonna do لا 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 Okay, so I've been getting those a lot on TikTok. Kun uh, scrolling through TikTok, bit la like what suggested lives or mm-hmm. okay. You see someone with powder on their uh, face. Uh, okay, so uh, basically how it works, I know people they buy stuff, they buy they buy like a certain amount of money, or they can sound masan like mm-hmm. flowers or hearts or whatever. Bid'amuk, bid'am, bid'am. So masan, is that they send you a flower, you have to do this, or is that they send you a heart, they ha- you have to do this. Mm, the really big ones, you got to do something Sah- crazy like an egg yeah. or the powder. Like or the, the or whatever, and sin. Yeah. yeah, I mean, look, this is the way you do it. You know what I mean? You want to make money on TikTok and TikTok lives. And I need, I need, I know Shad that is in Belish Nami lives, but the, the rivalry. But I'm not and that's the thing. I don't know if I want to do all of that stuff. But Shad, I haven't seen any of his lives. He announced this. Mm-hmm. But I'm not going to do He's talking about. Oh my gosh, shuf, 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 just what a creep. What I. <laughs> ما ما فيك تقول هيك عن الشاب. What is being said is creepy. لا هي هي. I mean it is kind of creepy. هلا what's fun is what's fine what's cool is that I didn't even know about this function until Shada talked about it. So and I literally changed my settings after this video. يعني ما بكفينا على الواتساب جماعة اللي بيشيلوا اللاسين والبلو تكس هلا صار فيهم يشيلوا الأونلاين كمان يعني ما بقفينا نرقبهم بالمرة. كيف بدي أعرف أنا إذا هي قرية المسج أو لا؟ كيف بدي أعرف إذا هو مفتوح الواتساب تبعه اذا بعده عايش ولا مات ولا شو ليه انتو هيك انتو عالم فيك انتو عالم مخبيين ورا اصبعكم عطيينكم الواتساب هيدي الاوبشن ليه ما بدكم تستعملوها مين مفكرين حالكم ليه بدكم هالقد تكونوا برايفت انا كصراحه بس دورت اول ما عرفت انا بيت عن جد ذاتس ذا جود كاز اي هيت لايك يو اي كاز سم تايمز يو وونت انسر ون بيرسون بس يو دونت وونت انسر انذر بيرسون اور سم ون كون يو تاكينج تو سم ون ذات سم ون ايلس مسجز يو لايك اي دونت نيد ذات بيرسون نو اي ام اون لاين ام جست تاكينج تو ذيس بيرسون رايت ناو شادا كل شيء فيك ليه عم تكونوا فيك جاي شادا كل شيء ذات هابنز بالحياه كل شيء بيرسونال انه اتس ا بيرسونال اتاك عليه هيز اولويز كونستلي فيند ان هون كمان شادا هاز بن كونتينيوينج هيز فود ريفيوز Uh, I'm not sure how well they've been doing on TikTok, but I'm sure I'm sure the fans are enjoying them. Hone, he's trying burgery. Uh, there might be some copyright music here, so we'll test it out. I'm Tawir. Today we came to burgery with Jad, food blogger. Cheeseburger, classic. Uh, entrecote. Cheese injection. Cheese injection. Uh, cheese injection. Chef uh, signature. Dynamite fries. Dynamite fries. Chicken tenders. Chicken tenders. It's like an old man. <laughs> fries with uh, fowl. So? Barbecue fries. Barbecue fries. Eh. So? Shada's like a 10 year old and a 50 year old at the same time. <laughs> Lovely entrecote. Burger injection. Yeah, bro. Ahla jaw, ahla akal. Oh my god. Oh my god. It makes me hate food, oh my god. It's making me hungry. Hot chop chicken day of hayato. Cheers. Shad amula. Spicy. Taibia shada. That was burgery. Hal anna burgeria. Oh, I guess house of, sorry, house of la burgeria. Yalla. Oh my god what's happening at house of la burgeria من المنيو الكبير اللي عندهم اياه اخترنا انه ناخذ سموك تشيز برجر مع كول سلو وبطاطا ما فيني اوصف لكم الطعمه قديش كانت منيحه طلبتها 
اللحمه تكون ميديوم وفعلا استلذيت بكل قدمه هون عم مزمز دايت بيبسي والصوص اكيد فوقه واخر شيء ديسير تشوروز مع شوكليت صوص وكراميل صوص اذا عندكم مطعم وحابين انه تعرفوا الناس عليه تواصلوا معي Uh, no, not judging that you're eating alone. I've had to eat alone many times. Sometimes I, I love like I r- love rarely in like a restaurant, alone. but like when I'm eating at the airport, the halit, oh fucking, I relish that like 20 minutes. Wow, as much Yeah, it's it's fucking amazing. Hone shrambi jareeb kamanchi, yalla. We went to Kamanchi. We tried creamy chicken burgers, crazy fries, and bang bang chicken. Is he talking to someone or alone? Is it good? He just said, but I don't know she They're all inconsistent. I think I the video event I'm But there's not not one is like the other. You know what I mean? One is like hello. He's like not being very detailed. Shada's content, all of them, consistency, abadan. It's just random. Anyways, that's the Shada food reviews. One more thing, Uf Hayden Sita, bring me back my innocence. Do you guys remember this? Mashi bas his stories, what anazal his his pictures. Yes. So like a month ago, this was literally right after we went on vacation. Shada bin Azil three stories ala Instagram. The first one is. Give me back that smile. And look at his dad. I'm guessing that's his dad in the background. Yo, he looks a lot like his dad. Mm-hmm. Look at that. We get to see. Look at that. Look at that. Uh, number two. Give me back that innocence. Look at. I've never seen a baby look like that. <laughs> he looks absolutely unhinged and insane. Look at those eyes. By an anime. And number three. Give me back that excitement. Look at young little Joseph Shada, all happy and innocent. They only looks like the shadow that we know with all these letters. letters. Okay, next up, uh, we are going to talk about this. This this took the internet you know, by storm. Ryan Hayek, he's this young dude on Instagram who has like a million or like some 300,000 followers, some something insane, an insane number. They're all, they're like mostly fake followers. Unfortunately, I found out through a bunch of people. Um, anyways, he did a, this crazy interview with Jibran Basile on his YouTube channel where they're just casually talking about all this weird stuff. We're going to get to that interview, but even before that, he had, um, and we talked about that on the show like a month and a half ago or something, maybe two months ago, where he had, he posted a photo on his Instagram where he had met the president and he got a lot of backlash for it on Instagram and he got a lot of comments being like, why are you doing this? And he posted these messages, which were very telling. And like, if you read those, you would tell that his interview with Jibran Basil was inevitable. Just to be clear, I got invited by the president and his daughter to the presidential palace. I am not a fan of any political party. Plus, let's be real, not anyone can be invited to the presidential palace. Okay, he's being a little, you know, a little cocky. Then he's like, a fan of their work. Please put this in mind. I am not encouraging you to follow any political party. That didn't go over too well. He kept getting messages from people. This was the last thing he said. Plus, please remember, I do have a show and I host many politicians that also might be the reason of the crisis that we're living. And I'm sure that if any of you got invited personally by the president of his country to the presidential palace, you wouldn't say no. So just him saying that I do have a show and I host many politicians that also might be the reason of the crisis that we're living in. He's like, he doesn't give a fuck of who his guests are. He's Mm -hmm. just... A ladder climber. He just wants to rise to the top. He doesn't care who he talks to, who he has on a show. Uh, he'll do anything, essentially. So uh, keep that. This is, and we talked about all of that. So keep that in mind when you watch his interview with uh, with Jibran Basi. Now this is old news. Obviously, this happened. This was parodied by a bunch of people. Everyone kind of, you know, poked fun at it. But uh, there's the this is this is the crazy, the craziest part of it, where he's literally asking. But he's, he's asking Jibran about the, the blast at the port and then just like, so, let's just watch it. Chantal, you know that my husband knew that he was going to be in the bar. He didn't know that he was going to be in the bar. He didn't know that he was going to be in the bar. Of course not. Because when he knew that he was going to be in the bar, he was going to be in the bar. He was going to be in the bar and he was going to be in the bar. He was going to be in the bar. امم اوكي هلا بدنا نعرف شانتال وجبران كيف تعرفتوا على بعض خبرونا دو ذات از فروم تراجيدي 
Two. Hey, how'd you guys meet? That is batshit crazy. Like, Hanja, this is just simply absurd. Uh, first of By all, by the way, but I know. Sorry, I touched. No, 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 go. This is the most ridiculous part. But the whole interview, heck, must I just tell she? Ijebo, no follow up, no anything. Okay, next question. Yeah. Hey, kill the interview. Hey. This child is unqualified to be like to be doing this. this is if like this is supposed to be like a light, fun show. I get it, but you don't do this kind of show with. A, like, high-ranking politician who, by many, is, like, responsible for a lot of the shit that is going on in this country, or at least affiliated with a party that is responsible for a lot of bad stuff that has happened. So it's just, and it's particularly asking about the blast, like, I was in Beirut when the blast happened, I was there, like, my Fajr al bayt I almost lost an eye, a whole bunch of people got extremely, extremely wounded, hundreds of people died, people lost their homes, like... What you just and you're asking the president's daughter, so do you think your dad was responsible? What was she gonna tell you on that interview? Yes, it's his fault. Like, and she has the nerve to sit there and be like, no, he did what he had to. Doing what he had to means that the nitrate wouldn't have been there to begin with, to, to explode. So, this whole thing is just absurd. But the transition, so how'd you guys meet? Like, it's stupid. Let's watch some other videos. Uh, this one, I think, Batroon. Had the hack attack? Kind of. I just watched a couple of minutes of it, but because just the way he asks the question is just so absurd. هلا بيقولوا انه كل باترون الك كلها ملكك مزبوط لا بقول لك شغله the way he's talking بيقولوا باترون الك so is that real like a thing that people actually say seriously and they use it as a hey so بيقولوا العالم انه باترون الك is like كمان like this is so biased like he's sitting عنده بالبيت you know what i mean like how 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 deep and how how serious are these questions going to be you know مش راح يستدجي to accuse him of anything not even not not that this kid even has like the guts to do it he just I don't even know why the fuck he's hosting this show. Like, this is so weird. Let's. Mm-hmm. <laughs> بالورثة وبالصرف والسياسة <تصفيق> بتكلف مصاري ما بتطلع مصاري هلا مزبوط انه اذا واحد ريان والادمي بيدفع مصاري بالسياسة الفاسد بيطلع مصاري من السياسة اينا فهمت مزبوط هلا باللقلوق في بيت انت كثير عاجبك بس مش قادر تشتري للبيت لا باللقلوق ما في وين اكيد بدك تشتري لا مش فيك تشتري well, that's enough. Just wanted to highlight that. It's been talked about to death. Folks, before we move on to the next topic, let's take a second to thank our lovely sponsors for this episode, Sidewalks.net. Uh, as you guys know, uh, they've been sponsoring us for the past few weeks. It has been awesome. They sent us a whole bunch of clothes. I, now, I'm pretty sure they wanted us to drop this ad before we went on vacation so that we could promote their cashback uh, giveaway, which actually one of our viewers won, Karim Khanza. I hope you got your cash back, buddy. So he ended up making an order on the website and he got all of his money back. So congratulations. And you guys could be just like Kareem, except not get it for free. But you can use the website. Like if you don't want to go into a store, you want to find the best of Levi's, Converse, Veja, or Nike. Get on sidewalks.net. And the best part is you can you can use your Lebanese pounds. You know, instead of risking your life to go to the bank, instead of waiting in line like me at the ATM just to get a little bit of money or to put a little bit of money in your account, use that LBP that is just sitting in the bank. Do some shopping. I recently bought a badass pair of shoes. Now, I'm not going to lie. I, I, I didn't buy this off the website, but I did buy a pair of Nikes. I did a whole vlog about it on uh, the Patreon. So if you want to join our Patreon, feel free to, to get on. But like these pair of blazers, okay, you can find them on the website probably, if not now, eventually. You want to do any shopping, you want to get some Nike shoes, you want to get some some Levi's. Look at that t-shirt Elijah's wearing. He's rocking it. That was a beautiful gift. So, uh, Sidewalks.net is your best source. And I've been asking for a discount code. Didn't happen yet, but hey, keep your eyes open. Eyes and ears, okay? <laughs> eventually, I promise you guys, I promise you. I'm going to fight for it. So uh, check out Sidewalks.net for all of your Veja, Nike, Converse, and Levi's needs. And thank you once again, folks, for sponsoring this episode. We love you. And Karim, congratulations on getting that cash back, buddy. So uh, yeah, y'all take care. I've been in the second uh, segment. Uh, basically, it's a very funny story. My our she, because I was like on toters. I just ordered ghalat. I thought I'm a smart albo ghalat. But when I'm brass, I'm not albo ghalat. I was like being a bitch to the customer support. As per usual. It's not clear. Like I was kind of nice. <laughs> anyway, if I'm just randomly the toters support person, it's my Pia. Hi Pia. <laughs> فبتقلي باي ذا واي انت ايلايجا من البودكاست هلا اذا بعد من السكرين شوتس عندي ال بوت ذيمز فوق وجنور اه اوكي ف ايش واز فيري سويت وبعتت لي ا بيرفكت اوردر وشي ذا فان اوف ذا بودكاست شي ريكوجنايزد مي من اسمي 
Well, Pia, but thank you for treat, for being nice to him, even though he was an asshole. Yep. Yes. And I've also been kind of a dick when when it comes to food, Anjad, it's it's hard. Maisha was like, "Thank you, it's it's fine. I understand food frustration." She was very nice, and especially when it's online. You don't see the person's face. Like, Where the fuck is my sandwich? <laughs> God damn it! So, yeah. but yeah, thank you. That's very sweet. By the way, let us know if you guys are enjoying the new audio quality. Uh, again, we might, my, the mics, my, the mics might sound a little weird because uh, you know we're just the first time using them. But I, I like how they look. You know, I think the interns' mics sound better than the crew's mics sound better than mine. But I just had to get the big one. You know, daddy's microphone, the large. <laughs> Your mic is hot. You I like how it looks. Arm, I like how it looks. Yeah, I like the arm. I like the whole thing. But like you know, looks like an alien dick. What? <laughs> Allah. Too much, <laughs> too far. <laughs> now speaking, we were just talking about Jibran Basile and the uh, Aouniye. Well, uh, I think it's time to talk about Joseph Meray, good friend of the show, Joseph Meray. By the way, we've met Joseph Meray. We have a, a vlog, an exclusive Patreon vlog with Joseph Meray. It was when I went to meet him to pitch him my documentary. We still have not made the documentary, but we're still gonna work on it. But we have an exclusive vlog up on Patreon, so if you want to get take a look at that, it's really really cool. It was edited by Noor. It's on Patreon now, so you can uh, if you join, you can see that. And uh, so uh, there was a President Owen stepped down just recently, uh, just a couple of days ago, uh, and there was a big rally of his supporters. I guess out, my wife is out, I, I was on the plane coming back, so no, outside of the palace, mm -hmm. it was happening. If, uh, uh, a bunch of keen-eyed viewers noticed. First, I saw this on Twitter. And you see <laughs> who clearly looks like, you know, our boy Joseph Menaib in the back of on OTV there. But like, you know, that wasn't definitive. Maybe, you know, like, is it him? Is it not him? It obviously is. But you know, he then himself dropped on his TikTok this video. <laughs> Gives him a kiss. I love that he straight up gave him a kiss. Uh, I think I'm so happy for him. He said, "Look, <laughs> when when we met him, we asked him about him being Haune. He had, you know, like he was kind of. I don't remember if we edited in the to the vlog. I don't think it's in there. No, but, no, no, but, but we did ask him about it. Like, and I don't care that he's Haune. I just kind of find it funny to be honest with you." we figured it out Yeah, he's been on it for a while, and he does he does a lot of his tricks wearing like, using orange on flags, wearing orange uh, like outfits. So he's it's no secret that he's on it. it's weird considering he toned the orange down. We toned when we when we talked to him, he kind of toned down his alliance to the to mm. the to to own and like to the Tayyad. Now though, now that like the president was leaving, he's like fuck it, I'm going all out. <laughs> so uh, I just found that hilarious. Uh, I got I, I got no judgment. I love my boy Joseph Menai. Uh, I can't wait to do the documentary with him. Thank you for being patient and being a patron helps a lot with that. So I'm honestly just trying to raise the funds for it. So until I get that figured out, uh, it's on pause, but definitely happening. And I and I talk with Joseph every now and then to make sure you know that we're still in this together. Uh, what else we got? Oh, okay. I, I guess it's time to talk about a cup. It's such an annoying topic, to be honest with you, because we've had such a hard time finding the original videos that started this whole thing. But it was all over, and everyone was talking about Aikup, and then Darwish got involved, you know, Eli Daboud, and all this drama over protein cups, folks. So here's how it all started. Let's talk about it real quick. Uh, Muhammad, the dietitian, a uh, up-and-coming like TikToker, he's a dietitian and trainer with 23,000 followers on TikTok released a couple of videos, or one video, claiming that A-Cup uh, was making, like, uh, they make these popular protein snacks. It's like, uh, I've never tried them before, but I have a friend who swears by them, and he has, like, a stack of them. He's like, dude, these are fucking amazing. He was claiming that they don't have the amount of protein that the packaging claims. I think the packaging claims that, I don't know, I've not done a lot of research on this, has, like, 30 grams of protein or something. But in his test lab research, he found out that it only has, like, 10% of protein supposedly way less protein than the packaging claims, so he wanted to expose them on TikTok. Uh, now, he's taken down these videos since. He's since taken them down. But before we get to that, here's a couple of videos of people reacting to his videos about A-Cup. So, I mean, you see, he's... 
he, he put that out there and some people were believing him like hey this shit is is probably fake and stuff like that so definitely him putting that out there had an effect on on some viewers here's another example هاي يا جماعة بتمنى يكون نهاركم كثير حلو وسعيد هذا الفيديو بدكم تحضروه كله لتاخذوا كل التفاصيل ولكن فكرته العامة هي انه نحن في عندنا كمية من المعلومات لاوقات بتكون مسليدنج موجودة على بعض البرودكت لانه نحن بلبنان ما كثير عندنا رقابة فاوقات بيمرقوا هيك برودويات بيوعدونا Anyway, so anyways, you have you, you see people on TikTok were taken with what he was saying, maybe even on Instagram. And hello, we're gonna get to that. Wish, but then just a couple of days later, uh, A Brands, uh, which is the brand that owns and then created A Cups, I think they have a couple of other brands, responds with their own video, and here it is. مختصر مفيد للتوضيح حصرا التسل انعمل بالاربع مقال عكبات ال 25 جرام بروتين بيّن انه فيها 2.6% بروتين بس بالنسبة لشو ما حدا بيعرف اللي بنعرف انه بكل 100 جرام طحين في 10 جرامات بروتين سؤال نحن عم نبيع كباية فاضي شيء بس للصدفة اجانا تليفون على شركة من صاحب مختبرات اربع مقال واعطانا السامبل اللي تودت ونعملها فحص هيا قدامكم شو قولكم هيدي الايك اب اللي بتاكلوها ننتقل لشيء الاهم اه هيدي اكسل شيت بنتخطى وبالنسبة لهيدا التاس بنوافقك عليه 100% اذا كان اللي بالنايلون باك نفس هيدي السامبل وبالنسبة للتاس الجديد اللي وعدت العالم فيه بين 5 و14 10 طلع معمول ب 23 6 بالنسبة للتو فيديوز اللي عملهم بالاي ار اي هو ذاته التاس نفس التاريخ مع شوية تعديل سامبل ان بلاستيك باج والحلو انه ريفرنس بروتين بيست هوم ميد فور ا برايفت بزنس ان مايند اولكم هذا التست البرودكت اللي هو عمله ونزله بالسوق اوفيشال هذا التست طلع امبارح 17 10 2022 ان اسيلد بلاستيك كونتينر بروتين 55.1% انتظرونا بالتستات الجاي مغامره جديده ببلدان جديده so dramatic with the whole late night and I love it with the whole late night crime shows yeah exactly like I swear you're gonna have the board with the like I know it's crazy but hey people are people take their protein snacks seriously and I like I get a brands like someone's talking shit about their product they have to get out there and defend it but come in I don't understand why would Muhammad the dietitian lie about this in the first place like why would he do something so misleading so I honestly have no idea, like, unless I go out there hella, and test the cup myself, I have no idea who's bullshitting, because I don't understand what's the incentive for Muhammad to lie, and then, I mean, a, a brand is obviously going to come out and, and deny what he's saying and, and try to show that their product isn't bullshit, which I'm not saying it is, I've never tried it. I'll, again, I have a very good friend and a patron, Ziyad, of the show, who loves that brand, and literally he has, like, tons of them in his fridge, so I'm not here to judge, I'm just commenting on what's happening. Uh, Muhammad has since taken down the videos, which we'll, we're going to show in a second. So here, let's move on to... Uh, then we had Darwish, our boy Darwish, response from Darwish Market, Eli Dabu. Check this out. He even got into it. بما انه انا اقوى بوينت اوف سيل بجبل لبنان للاي كاب اتصلت فيهم شلت بضاعتي عن الرف وقلت لهم بدنا توضيح بدنا التاست المضبوط هي ديدنت ويست ذا سكند هي هيرد ذا فيديو دغري شلت البضاعه من من الرف يعني بجد اند اي ريسبكت ذات ريسبكت اور بوي الي دابول ار دي ام ال هي اخر وحده عمل فيها محمد التاست للاسف بيعت من عنده بيستري معموله بالبيت والريفرنس تبعها انه هي لبزنس جديد وشكلها غير كليا عن الاي كاب مش مبعوثة هيدا البراند اتصلوا فيه الشركة وبعتوا لي التاست بكرة رح اعرضه للجديد لانه بضاعتهم صارت عم تتصدر لبرات لبنان وهيدا منتج لبناني بدل ما نخزق بعضنا لازم ندعم بعضنا واذا محمد دايتيشن عنده شوي تعليقات عليه يتواصل معهم ويقول لهم مش يروح يعمل فيديوز فيك وما لها اساس من الصحة وبما انه هيك نحن اليوم رح نرجع نجدد العرض كل اربع اي كاب a cups back baby a cups back so i'm guessing so okay so i guess muhammad made the pastry at home that's what they're claiming so it's not the actual product again i've never tried the product so i don't even know what it looks like but no i'm just enjoying this that responds again honey he clarifies شوي على شو صار لانه مصداقيتي اهم شيء مع الناس وانت هيك حكيت يا محمد 
انا وعدت الناس رح فرجي التست ولا انا لو ما وصل التست ما كنت رجعت حطيت بضاعه الايك اب على ال... على الرف ورجعت بيع منا على زبوناتي خلينا نفسر لكم هيدا هو بتاريخ 12 10 They sent him a copy of Mao Elam was like on his desk. It's all about the A cup. I don't know bro. That's why I love this drama so That's why I've been insisting I've wanted the videos because I'm like, this is just, just insane. Then, Kamina, there's not. So, the drama between Muhammad and the brand is, is, is pretty clear at this point. Muhammad, the dietitian, made a claim. The brand, you know, got upset and refuted it. But there was this other guy, this wellness coach Muhammad. The guy I made you reach out to to ask him yep. <laughs> see if you can get the videos. This, by the way. Yeah, that guy has 17,000 followers on TikTok. Kamena seems to do something similar to Muhammad, public health workouts and diet. So Kamena, in his own way, he's like a, a competitor to Haida. And Tess, like he's starting beef with Muhammad. Like this is him talking about Acup and, be, and being very happy that Acup won the whole thing. يا أيها الذين آمنوا إن جاءكم فاسق بنبأ فتبينوا. إيكاب من وينس كوتش رب. عن الإيكاب اللي هو مفاده إنه الإيكاب وينس كوتش ربحوا. الإيكاب ما لنا كسب عليكم. ما بعرف. وينس كوتش رب. أربعين جرام بروتين. أي حدا نزل عكس هذا الكلام أو نزل فيديوهات عم يضر الإيكاب ما حد فيديوهاته. بدون ذكر اسامي لانه نحن ما عندنا مشاكل شخصيه مع حدا لانه الضعيف هو اللي بيحارب نحن ما لنا ضعاف ما بنحارب شو ايك اب له ما فهمت نو نو مشكله مع هيدا الشيء جست ا فان اوف ايك اب بيروح بيجيب لك دراسه علميه بتثبت لك كلام محمد مش بيزور مقاله علميه مش بيزور كلام باي ذا واي ايك اب سو وير داون فور سبونسر شيب اي يو اي براندز واو وات في فرق أنا زلمي سينتيفيك أنا زلمي الله بيشهد بي من لحم قلبه عطا لعلمني ما رح اجي ضيع هيدي الشيبة وضيع هيدا التعب سدى هذا هو اللي بدنا نقلكن ياه الأيكا بربحت بفلتر اللي هو يوزيه على الفيس كتير قوي كانوا عن العمل للأسف من ورا اللي صار بيتين عائلة رجعوا يشتغلوا ياكلوا و... وبدي خبركم بس ما تكونوا مثل أهاليكن and who is very good i went down the rabbit hole on this guy's page and he's weird as hell so oh my god out. he might be like the nicest guy ever but from the voice note i told you he was super nice so check this out <laughs> check, check this out there are a lot of important things i want to tell you i was talking about my videos i said from the nature البنت يطلع لها شوية شعر بجسمها من الطبيعي يكون عندها صدر أكبر من الثاني من الطبيعي يكون في إفرازات من الطبيعي و... فما حدا ياخدها آه... تنمر وهالمواضيع مش زابطة إذا خطيبك أو زوجك أو حدا مقبل على إنه يصير في شراكة أبدية بينك وبينه يعني حيتزوج هيك وأنت بمرحلة التعارف عم يفوت لعندك على البيت عم عم يحكي مع اهلك عم تظهروا هالمواضيع آه يعني ماي جاد قد مكبر عيونه بالتيك توك فلتر هيز سكين انا از مور اجريجس ما حدا ملتزم كثير لدرجه انه ممنوع تمسك الايد وهالمواضيع اي دونت نو ريس تاكينج اباوت اي دونت كير اي دونت ونت سي وير اتس جوينج 3 مينتس اوف ذات بس اني ويز ذس از اه Let's, let me post the final video that Muhammad the dietitian posted, which is he's explaining why he deleted the videos and like what's the status of the situation right now. خليني أقول لكم وين راحوا الفيديوز اللي أنا كنت بنزلهم. طلب مني من القضاء إنه أسحب الفيديوز اللي نزلتهم على السوشيال ميديا، بس بنفس الوقت ما قدروا يثبتوا إنه اللي نقال غلط كمل لو ما هيك ما كنت ظهرت من المكتب بدون أي مشكلة، بس ما عاش فيني أحكي عن الموضوع على البيج تبعي، فأنا عملت لي علي وما فرجيتكم إلا إثباتات والباقي صار عليكم واللي حقوله يمكن يكون حلم، بس بتمنى من القضاء يحقق من جهة تانية وما يسكر الموضوع أو الملف، وإنه وزارة الاقتصاد تعمل اللي لازم كانت تعمله من زمان، وأنا محمد بعدني مستعد واجه اي استدعاء رسمي بيجي على هيدا الموضوع اذا كان الموضوع صح واكيد ما فيني انسى اشكر كل جامعه كل ترينر وكل شخص كان عنده اثباتات وفرجاني عليهم بس ما كان مستعد يطلع يصرح كمل ما بده وجع راس انتو اخر اشخاص فيكم تشكوا على وضع البلد كمل بتشوفوا الغلط وبتضلكم ساكتين والوضع ما حيتحسن مع ناس مثلكم بتطنش على الحقيقه
But it's a fucking protein cup. <laughs> yeah, I know, but like he's standing by, like even after all of that and like kada illegal trouble and stuff, he's still mm-hmm. standing by that he thinks. Uh, his, uh, leg- sorry, no, but like, I just don't know. I really don't know who's right unless I take a cup, we take it to a laboratory. I have no dog in this fight, Andre. I have no idea. Viewers, if any of you guys use a cup, uh, let me know what you think about this whole thing. If you're a, if you're like a, a consumer of that product, you know what did you think? Um, did what Muhammad say change your opinion at all at any point? Did you feel skeptical about the brand? Are you still buying them? I just want to know kind of what happened. As far as publicly, Mahal videos, a cup came out with their response. It's it's back on the shelves. Mafi Mishkle. It seems like they won. But is there any truth to what he's saying? I have no idea. To me, it's like I don't understand why he would come out and lie about this. Is it to get followers? I don't see how Bistafid bin Haydashi. But Senator saying that he made his own. I don't know. What do you guys want to think about this whole thing? Uh, legally speaking, a business cannot lie about this. It's a local brand. I don't know how it works. But in general, a brand mafiat kazib al issue. So yeah, right. I mean, you would think that there is some kind of due diligence that goes into yeah. like. You need to get the other guy, why would he lie about views. it? Like, he sh- got the clutter he wanted. But, but he still. Uh, it's, it was uh, mostly negative still, attention. Yeah, I, know. My body. I don't know. Publicity is still publicity. And I tried one A cup. Is it good? It's good, but I'm not a person who doesn't eat protein, doesn't eat all the things. Yeah, yeah. It's more I don't give a fuck. It tastes good. It's like good. A, it's a post-workout snack mainly. Like if you're going to the gym and stuff, it's very practical for something like that. So anyways, that's the whole A-Cup drama. I would love to know what you guys think, specifically if you're a, a user of that product. Uh, since we mentioned our guy, our boy Darwish, you know, Elie Dabur from Darwish Market, let's just look at this quick video that I've, I saw on TikTok. Bro, it killed me. It's just one super random video. Sirirachi sauce. I've never heard that before, okay? I had to look it up to see if it was, there was actually something called Sirirachi. <laughs> Check this out. برجر كتير حرة ومع تاكيز هلا توني رح يلكم شو في فيها. بليز ما تحطوا تاكيز بالأكل. أونيونز دولوروسو منبلش هلا بينوس تاكيز وسريرات شصوص. Jalapenos or sriracha? Jalapenos. Jalapenos or sriracha sauce. So yeah, I, and I thought of you as soon as I saw it with the taki sticking out. I'm like, no, please, love this please, taki please. burger. The new crap away burger. It's literally a, a, a taki burger. Please, please. Bad please. Like, we just discovered takis on him. So team, can we just let's do this whole sriracha thing again? Let's. <laughs> burger, كتير حرة ومع تاكيز. هلا توني راح يلكم شو في فيها. Cheddar, bacon, onions, doloroso. Jalapenos, takis, sriracha sauce. Sriracha, dude, I literally was like, is there something called sriracha? And I'm just being an asshole. I'm like, it's sriracha. Bullying. It's sriracha. I don't want to be bullying it, but no, sriracha. <laughs> I've never heard that. That that to me was just funny. And I'm I I only want to say sriracha now. Like saying sriracha feels like lame. Yep. You know, it's like khalas. You, I can't say sriracha anymore. Sriracha sauce. I gotta say it in restaurants. Who's having the illa? Now we got a whole bunch. You guys know we love our gimmicks. We love our, our, our weird Instagram and TikTok commercials. We got a whole bunch of them. We got Celtel is doing some crazy shit. We got a new new player in the cell phone game. Number yeah. one cell. Ooh, Leopold, what's up, buddy? Elijah, by the way, helped take care of Leopold while I was away. <laughs> he has my house keys. Uh, <laughs> <so> <laughs> Look at that little Leopold. Being so thankful, adorable little buddy. Let's watch. This is number one cell. I think this might be the greatest cell phone offer that I've seen. Uh, Celtel, watch the fuck out. <laughs> Bro, I would go to the telephone with like Shawar. It's me. It's Shawar, my bro. It's <laughs> no, this is genius. Anna, when I was doing, and I was trying to think of gimmicks for the comic stash, there was a bread shortage. I was thinking of comic book that you would get, but I'm like, I don't know, that's too fucked up. But I love this. This is insane. Not to be undone, not to be outdone. Celtel is getting into anime, folks. Anime action figures with one piece. I've never watched one piece, but no, I'm One piece. 
راح نبلش قريبا بعروضات الاكسسوري للانمي لما تحكي بالانمي يعني عالم الانمي اللي هن الون بيس كمل الون بيس عندك ناروتو عندك فوكو عن هيرو طبعا ما ننسى لايت داس نوت هانتر واكيد ما ننسى الون بيس والهانتر اكس هانتر تعال جي قرب جيتك بعرض الهونر هونر اكس 7 128 جيجا 4 جيجا رام كفيل لقد ايه لمده 15 شهر هذا هو التليفون عالم الهونر <laughs> There's another Arid. Walani, Walani, but this is a new Walani. Oh. He's done this before. This Mishal Edzir. He actually lit a fire this time. اه it's all big, small shop, and it has someone that we've never met. But Rudy, Rudy, Fi or Nareg, Rudy Hamawi. I can't remember his last name is. But Rudy, Nareg's friend, who they threw the bucket of water on him. Wow! This is he's part of this. I don't know how, but watch this. Hello, it's Joey. نزلت الشتاب ولا بعد. لا لا بكير ما بين تشرين وتشرين في سلتانة. سلتانة. يلعن ابو النسوان وساعتهم رح يخلص السيف يا شاه ايه رودي ردو ايه فانيسا عرفتي بالسيل الكبير مين عم بعيونك ما عم بتقلى خبرك شو جايب ايه جان مش جايب في سيل كبير عند اول بيك سمول ذا شوب بلا بلا جايين لوين وصلوا وصلوا لعندي على اول بيك سمول ذا شوب End of summer sale. ما تتفاجئوا بعد الصيف بأوله بالنسبة لإلي هيك ابتداء من الثلاثة 4 أكتوبر ولغاية 10 أكتوبر ناطرينكم عنا بالمحل من الساعة 3 للساعة 8 بـ End of summer sale. نسوانة والليدة والرجالة كل قياسات من عنا بس للسيوف. حيالله قطعة بالمحل 50,000 100,000 150,000 بس. المحل بالأشافية بوجه الإم تي في القديمة عطيني ميلة. رقم التليفون والإنستا موجودين في البايو. كونوا اختار ناطرينكم. Oh my god, I'm too emo for this. I love I love the big guy's energy. This guy. It's too positive. I love, I love this dude. I don't you know, know why. The whole thing reminds me like I remember what I cannot cannot be colony when I was really young. We told about shit activity and I'm a Luna video. Hey, yeah, it's that like, level. Hey, hi. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's horrible. Uh, the one with always the big like uh, cartoon people. Yeah, mm -hmm. I just really like this dude's energy. My body, if he seems so sweet. Uh, no, I energetic. I would. Too. No, my body, if he's just super nice. I. <laughs> like, I seems super nice. I would go to the shop. It seems like it's kind of gave me fashion zone vibes. Or like a fashion zone is just starting out. These are the the roots, and it will eventually grow into the mall that fashion zone has become. And fashion zone Mishmahal, Huwe Mol. We all know that very well. Uh, all right, we got. Uh, I, I wanted to mention, uh, as you guys know, Lama has it is on TV now. He has a show. I don't know what it's called. Uh, we want to talk about it because it's honestly pretty horrible. And a lot of the things that he was saying, like about the quality of videos that Elio Elay makes, it's like you could say the same about the show that they're doing. It's like pretty, very lowbrow humor and stuff. I'm afraid of using any footage from that show because the copyright strike is going to come quick and it's going to come so aggressively. So hard. Ah, okay. So yeah, and, uh, new TV is not, is it on, I think it's on Al Jadid. They're not going to let it slide. Like, Kilshi MTV, LBC, every time we use any of their footage, we end up regretting it because we got a copyright uh, thing on the website and on the, on the video and then we can't monetize it. If, uh, I don't really know how to talk about it. People have sent me like seven minute clips. I watch them. I'm like, this is just so horrible. It's just like these fucking TV shows that are like, no, that no one watches. So I guess Salama is now doing his shtick to, you know, 50 and 60 year olds who watch television, doing like a dating show. Then he does his live commentary while they were dancing. It was so fucking weird. Anyways, we'll talk about it someday. But not now, just because of, I don't want to get no copyright, especially not for that, because it's not funny enough. Not nearly. So next, we're going to be talking about the royal wedding folks lebanon's very own royal wedding move aside uh, prince william and camilla whoever the fuck their names are uh 
It's time William for and Kate. William and Kate. I don't know. I don't care. Come William here. and Kate. <laughs> and it's time for Dr. Food. And do you know who, who's, who's his uh, wife? Do we know who, he, who she is? Do we have any idea who that lady is? Uh, and Sita Islam was coming. She's like an influencer. She's a Syrian influencer. She's Syrian. Wow. Oh, well, welcome to Lebanon. Well, that's, that, that, that's cool to know. Uh, here is one, and what's cool is that I'm in the stories, uh, b- wedding, you know what Man I mean? I first his wedding day, like the whole day, best stories, TikToks. كيف ملاحة like get married بعدين نزل لا نفس the the wedding becomes a content opportunity. That's how you know what I mean. Like ooh, a wedding will be able to get so many videos out of it. بعرسي أنا رح تعمي معزيمة تعمي. بعرسنا اثنيناتنا رح نتعميكم فصولي ورز تعال. أول شيء بنحط زبدة. ولا حنضيف لها شعيرية. ولا حنحط الرز. I'm making his wife cook on her wedding day. Zip <laughs> 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 <laugh
Mike, that's dude. Fanny be alpha bad aslan. So that's yeah. why I could never do real interviews. Like the most real interview I ever did was with Shada. I'm like me and Joseph Shada or something. But like that was for fun. That was like for a dramatic effect. <laughs> Mission no mean doctor food. He's actually asking. حكيتني شرو كبرت عليها أكيد أنا بس شفت أول فيديو لإله واو this is a talent مثل ما أنت اليوم talent حكيم أنت مريض بتقوله علاجنا this is why this is why we don't do guests bro I don't have time to kiss anyone's ass so like أنت كيف الأدي زكى بالتيك توك I don't need to I don't need to fucking debase myself and fucking tell these people that they're actually talented you know what I mean yeah just keeping it real baby let's just have some fun you uh, oh, this this came in. Sorry, this was a while ago. But you know, Anthony's <laughs> got to talk about it now. Just the shirt that he's wearing. This is when what you know, Bella Dabin had. But Doctor Food can abiamlo. We were busy making the biggest apple jam or whatever. Jam. We made the biggest jar of apple jam. But alam, that's what we're th- that's what we should be focused on. While Muffy Kahraba and shit. أكبر مرضين مربى تفاح بالعالم. الأول فريق. That's that shirt. الثاني عم يأشي. والفريق الثالث. والفريق الرابع. <laughs> well, I actually tagged him in a post. I took a photo of this and I was like, Dr. Food, this shirt is unacceptable. He actually replied. He was like, why? And I was like, it's just that I'll send you the photos. I was like, it's just too patriotic, bro. Like the people can't handle it. He never read my reply. I don't even think he didn't even send the message. It's probably is. It's a social media team. Uh, but no, it's just this shirt is unacceptable. I don't care about the about the Apple shit. All of that. It's too much and the Lebanese flag on the whole shirt. I've never seen that. You guys want to see how to make shawarma? I don't think so. I think this is kind of pointless. <laughs> it was kind of just gross looking. <laughs> Mainly. Fuck it. We don't need to see that. But what we need we need to see this. I don't know how this guy got the, 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 the video, but it's fucking awesome. What the heck going on? Oh, okay. You cooking outside. Okay. Man, what the? Man, hold up. Bro, you trying to kill somebody. Bro, what the? Bro, look at this. Bro, look at this. That's fucking crazy. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Bro, are you freaking serious, bro? Nah. Somebody gonna die. He trying to take out a whole village. <laughs> I've never tried onion jam no. before. I'm predicting that after whoever eat this, they gonna die 30 minutes after eating this. <laughs> they they gonna die. You dead. <laughs> Looks like boiling Pepsi. At least put some meat. Uh, blah blah blah. At least put some meat up in there. Pause. Onion jam. Hey, you don't think you use enough butter? <laughs> you put a whole village of butter in that pan? Man, heck no. And it's gonna be somebody in the comments talking about, oh, you hating? This is normal food. No, it ain't. This is death. Don't y'all eat that? Oh yeah, they all dead. They all gonna die. With vanilla ice cream? But what, <laughs> <have> <laughs> Has anyone tried onion <laughs> jam? No, but first onion jam is a thing. Tenishi and when you see it, he'll add, and okay, but he's, he made like a huge thing of onion jam. And when you realistically, when you take it, it looks like, like she one tablespoon of butter and like one, two tablespoons of sugar. But who, fine. who asks for this onion jam? Who is it? A, like I'm in the TikTok. People eat it though. Like so I've never heard of onion. I've never heard of it, man. Like burgers no. and stuff. It's a thing. It's weird. I've never heard of it. I've never heard of it. But yalla, hey, you know what? We're not, we're not hating. Uh, was Dr. Food Mabruk on the wedding? Uh, I, I do want to watch that podcast episode. I'm just curious as to how dramatic the questions got. Le- 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 no, don't make me watch it no, to no, get you the fun stuff. No, no, it's not worth it. Why do you want to read the restaurant, your doctor food? No, why? Uh, moving on to the next topic, we were we were considering saving this for next week because I don't know if this week's episode is running too long. But I want to make Elijah's li- life a comeback anything. episode. Comeback <laughs> episode, exactly. We want to give you guys, you know, more. You gave us a month off. We want to give you guys a little thing. So, this guy has thirteen, almost fourteen thousand followers on TikTok, and he makes the like strangest sandwiches. I guess he's been popping up for a couple of months. I've been seeing his stuff, but we decided now is the time. Now is the time to talk about it. So. Bonjour, I'll give you a little bit of 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 a little bit of
العروس العجينة هلا بنفتح ما في ملاعق بنحط التومات This is already concerning على الخبزة هي اللي بنكون خبصنا الخبزة على الملتان كرمال ما ما تفقع معنا ومن تم تم التومات بهالطريقة هيدي The fact that it's four minutes is concerning مالح حلو المالح حلو هلا بنشوفه بهالطريقة هلا بنعمل الحلو المالح بنحط هيدي الشوكة لأنه معقولة نرجع نعوزها confusing بالطبوقات اوكي تو توم nothing egregious so far حضرناه هون بنوصلهم لحد ديت هون ما بنوصلهم اكثر هيدي عروس رح يكون اسمها طبوق تلا نوت انف توم اذا رح تحذروا شو يعني رح يكون فيها بنرجع نحط البطاطس اوكي okay. بهالطريقه I'm guessing the last half in the dessert فيكم تكتروا فيكم تخففوا عبر التليفون ما بعرف مين عم بدق حطوا ميوت مع انه نحن ما خصنا نرجع نفتح بنجيب الملعقه بنحط المايونيزيات المايونيزيات بهالطريقه لك سو فار ذس از نحن نقينا انه نوت نيرلي انف توم بس انه ماشي الحال نحط الملفوف فيها على هالميله بنرجع نحط الكبيسات لا ام نوت فان اوف كبيس اي لاف كبيس شيلهم هلا لما نكون عم نعجن وبندوره بالطبوق شيلها كمان ما لهم عازه هيك بصير كيف بندوره؟ نرجع نحط البندوره بندوره ذات ويرد يو نو بندوره كبيس كبيس هلا هون لا وصلنا هيدا بدنا نضطر ننظف ايدينا كيف بده يلفها؟ سوري اي هاف نو ايديا هلا بالطابق الثاني اه سو هيز نوت ميكسينج ذا نتيلا ويز بس اتس ذا سيم ساندويتش هيدي من القطع ومنشكها ليه؟ تنقدر نشتغل هون نجيب النوتيلا نفتح النوتيلا بهالطريقه اوه وبدنا نخلطه لكرمال نسقطه وين على العروس ناخذ ملعقه اي ثينك از ا نايت مير فوت على المطبخ تلاقي حدا عم يعمل هيك شيء ونحط نايت مير كونكشن ونشدها بهالطريقه بنحط هون نوتيلا بس انه يو نوت غانا ميكس ذيم برو ذيس از يوزلس از ويست اوف تايم بناكل انا باكل مالح بعدين باكل حلو انه يو نوت لايك يو كان ميك تو ميك تو ساندويتش بادي بدنا ننتبه نرجع بنجيب رايس كيك نحط رايس كيك فور سم كرانش ذاتس جود ايديا رايس كيك بس بالخبز ذاتس سو اود لالي نجيب بينات باتر I'm not a fan of peanut butter and chocolate. I hate peanut butter in general. I love peanut butter, but don't mix it with chocolate. Peanut butter. Individually, I love peanut butter. تكونوا عم تاكلوا مع شيء دسر. هيك بتلفوها بتاكلوها دغري فار الضربة. هاو ما صحني هون نرجع من كب peanut butter. إيه وكب على الأرض. نرجع من كب نرجع من جيب ملح. هلا هون صرنا على آخر ما بدنا ننسى إنه نجيب الموز. سكين نفتح ونقص ال هيدا يمكن هز يعني ما فينا ناكل بينات باتر ورايس كيك وخضار الا مع موزه هذا ويكلي كالوريز الموزه مثل ما هي خلصنا ايز جات تشيكنز بنشيل الكردونه وبنرش ملح على الطبق تلا هلا بنلفها وبزيت الوقت بنكون بنلفها هون بيلتقوا بس بكون عم ناكل بيلتقوا ببعضهم I thought the whole sandwich I hit the bad one. مع الطبق تلا. بهذا شفتوا كيف؟ ما رح تفعل. Left two separate. نرجع نلف هيك. هين سينا نكبا. You should have mixed it, bro. Would have made a much funnier video. نسقط هيك. نسقط هيك. ومن إلكون ساعتين. I already had ملك التو for lunch. She's making me want another tau though. God damn it! I came too weak. Medical Tau also, we need you. We need your support. I don't know if I want to watch another one. This was so this was so long. This was so long in detail. All right, what do we got? I think this is it. Uh, one more thing that I wanted to talk about. Uh, we always, you know, we, we talk about Marvel movies being banned. This movie was banned. This movie was banned. Looks like Black Panther Wakanda Forever is not banned. From what it looks like, it's coming out. I've been seeing posts from Empire Cinemas and Vox Cinemas that it's coming out November 10th. So on, uh, on Thursday, next week. 
Wakanda Forever should be out in cinema, so we're gonna try to go watch it on Wednesday. You guys, you guys are in to watch it Wednesday night if we can early. Uh. We're gonna have the, to have the edit early. Wednesday gonna, night. Wednesday night. Yeah. Let's show Wednesday. I'm super excited. I'm super excited. Yeah, we'll get, we're going to try to get a group together. It's a Mish Wednesday. We'll figure it out. But I want to watch it early for, for spoilers. But I just wanted to say good news. And it seems like it's coming out because I wasn't sure. Apparently, there might. I'm not going to talk about anything that might get a banned. Uh, God bless. I'm, I'm excited about this. Uh, and with that, folks, we have reached the end of our comeback episode. Uh, do not worry, number 74. God damn, 74 episodes. That's a lot. Uh, let me take a second to thank, I forgot to thank our other patrons at the beginning of the episode. I just thanked our new patrons, beautiful blonde patrons like Rana, Rudolf, Enzo, uh, Philip, Edward, Eel, Antonio, Jmeid, Ziad, Mrebel, Jad, Sabr, uh, Mariana, Rani, Nasser, Jackie, Deeb, uh, and our brand new patrons, Rami, Fawaz, Celine H., Vincent, Abbas, Karim, Ayad, Elijah, Ramzi, Kawas, <laughs> Hadi, Hamoud, some superhero patrons like Joe Ghal, Mo Hariri, Joey Dabul, Fadi Mukarzil, Ziyad Ashar been with us for a while, and Fadi Mukarzil, sorry. Uh, and brand new patron, Adrian N. And Amunz. And brand new God tier patrons, Andrew G. and Jack Sleeman. And Jessica N., Muhammad Namani, and 69 Monkeys. Thank you guys so much for your support. Thank you to Sidewalks.net. Check out Sidewalks.net and spend your LBP over on some beautiful Converse, Levi's, Veja, or Nike. Did I forget a brand? No, I didn't. I don't think mm -hmm. so. And uh, again, congratulations to Karim Khanza for winning that cash back. Folks, join us next week. It was a pleasure. Interns, uh, enjoy. Crew, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to get used to not calling you the interns anymore. Enjoying the microphones? Do you like the new freedom? I love them. I love yes, them so yes. much. Yes, yes. Thank you, patrons. <laughs> Anjad, thank you, patrons. We, we literally cannot have done this without you. Help me pay them back. <laughs> Help me pay, <laughs> pay off these microphones. We love you so much. God bless you. And as always, do not.